Hello. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the equipment required for the instrumental insemination of honeybee queens. The equipment I will cover in this video is a basic setup necessary for successful insemination. You may find additional equipment helpful in your own practice of instrumental insemination. This guide should serve as a starting point to assist you in sourcing the equipment. I've provided a detailed list in the description along with pricing and links to purchase the equipment online. To begin, let's take a look at the instru instrumental insemination apparatus. The instrument itself is made of stainless steel parts and replicates the design of the popular Schley instrument. In fact, the instrument is compatible with Schley equipment. My setup includes both a standard and Harbro syringes. If you're only inseminating a few queens, the standard syringe will be fine. For insemination of multiple queens, the Harbro syringe is required. The Harbro syringe also enables you to store and ship drone semen and capillary tubes. To stabilize my Harbro syringe, I've attached it to a tile that I purchased at Lowe's. And it comes with a 3M adhesive that secures it to the tile. And it has a magnetic base so that you can adjust and reposition the Harbro syringe when you're using it. Next, you will need a microscope. I chose a Parco Scientific Boom microscope with an LED ring light. You will need accessory lighting to see your work area under the microscope. Make sure you use LED lighting that does not produce heat as the queens are very sensitive to temperature. I also added a 0.5 times Barlow lens to my setup to increase the working distance under the microscope. Next, you will need a CO2 source. I purchased a filled five pound tank from Airgas for $126. Airgas has locations throughout the United States. The regulator, the regulator I am using includes a bubble chamber for administering the CO2. This regulator came with my instrumental insemination kit and it fits directly onto the tank valve. Make sure you have an adequate work surface for your equipment. I mean, I made the mistake of using a plastic folding table to work on. Unfortunately, the weight of the equipment is causing the table to deflect. The base of the microscope is especially heavy to provide stability, and I will need to upgrade my work surface. So don't be like me. Make sure you have a solid work surface from the get-go. You also need 70% isopropyl alcohol, distilled water, and sterile saline solution. These liquids are used to sterilize your equipment and syringes. I also keep an assortment of sterile syringes on hand for use in administering these liquids. Finally, an ultrasonic cleaner is handy for cleaning your syringe tips and capillary tubes. I hope you have found this overview helpful. Don't forget, I've included links to the equipment in the video description. In future videos, I will get more in depth into how to set up and use the equipment. So please like and subscribe to receive notification of future videos. Thank you.